Welcome to Let's Talk Meshing's Tutorial Tuesday, where we show you how to use a feature in just a couple of minutes. In this video, we're going to show you how you can trim a surface by a curve. So in this example, I have a wing, and this wing consists of two surfaces right now. I've got a surface for the trailing edge, and then another surface that basically wraps all the way around. And what I'd really like is I'd like a surface for the upper portion of the wing and then a surface for the lower portion of the wing, as well as that trailing edge surface. And the reason I'd like that is when I mesh it, if I had a database boundary that spanned that wing at the leading edge, I would get a connector there. And with the connector there, I get a few more options for providing refinement to resolve that area of high curvature. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to sketch a curve on that geometry that I can use to trim that geometry. So I'm going to go to the line on database tool. And you'll notice that the geometry is highlighted as I'm sketching this line on the geometry. And I'm just going to sketch it from the root all the way to the tip. OK, so I've sketched that line all the way across that leading edge. And I'll click OK. And now I'm going to select this model and go to Edit Trim by Curves. And you'll notice that line that I just drew on the geometry shows up in green. And that's because it's associated with that geometry. We sketched it on that model. So I can select that curve and click the imprint button and you'll notice in the table two new quilts were created and in the display window we can see those two new quilts that were created. One for the upper surface and one for the lower surface. I can click OK and now you'll notice that I have a database boundary that spans that leading edge. And again when I create a mesh on this a connector or a grid curve will be created on that boundary that I can use to perform some additional refinement and resolve that area of high curvature. So that's how you can go about trimming a surface with a curve. Thank you and have a pleasant Tuesday.